Hello my fellow moonshiners and cowboys and welcome back to the channel. In this video we will be going through moonshiner role and how to become a moonshiner, a successful moonshiner in RDO world. Now first things first, how to become a moonshiner. Fairly simple in all honesty, you just need to level up a trader role up to level 5 and if you followed my trader role guide you will certainly do it in a matter of hours. So as soon as you reach level 5 you will get a letter from Crips where he will inform you about the opportunity. He won't be going through details in his letter but he will tell you where to go to Emerald Station and uh, there you will meet him and his associate. Of course Feisty Maggie will inform you that the price of becoming Moonshiner is 25 gold bars. Or, of course, as I already mentioned in my previous videos, uh, you waited enough for a week with discounts for Moonshiner roll, you will save up to 30% and that's 7.5 gold bars, so if you're not in a rush to become a Moonshiner, well, wait for the discount. Moonshiner roll is pretty straightforward. You need mash, you need ingredients, you need time, and you will get your Moonshine ready to be sold. Of course, there is no chance to get gold as a Moonshiner, there is also no Moonshiner events uh, in RDO world up till uh, September 2021, so you have very fine role to grind dollars. And uh, this role is pretty passive, so you can uh, concentrate on other things to do while waiting for your Moonshine to be ready to be sold. The one thing you need to pay attention to when starting a Moonshiner role is location of your Moonshine Shack. There are five locations around the map and uh, not all of them are equally good, at least in my opinion and uh, the majority of RDO community of course. There is one thing to be said before reviewing all the locations and that's the proximity of your camp to your Moonshine Shack. This, of course, doesn't need to be a deciding factor when you choose your Moonshine Shack location, but uh, trust me on this one, uh, it is very convenient uh, to have camp nearby your Moonshine Shack. Now, of course, in my opinion, the best location for Moonshine Shack is in Tall Trees. I find it very convenient because I prefer my camp set in Great Plains and uh, thus probably I prefer the location in Tall Trees. Another great location to set up your Moonshine Shack is in Bayou and because of its proximity to Saint Denis you'll have plenty of options if you set your shack there. It is hard to decide between these two and actually majority of community prefers the Bayou location but uh, my preference for uh, tall trees is based on uh, raspberry availability because uh, I prefer to create uh, berry cobbler moonshine which is made from raspberries and Canada and regular peaches. Of course, uh, Berry Cobbler Moonshine is my preferred uh, strong moonshine for selling because every single time I have logged on, no matter how many hours or days have passed, there is still a request for Berry Cobbler Moonshine and I didn't get that with any other uh, strong moonshine and actually any other moonshine. That's why I prefer to create Berry Cobbler Moonshine. But if you want to make uh, apple berry crumb moonshine, you will need uh, vanilla flowers and they only grow in Bayou. So you'll have plenty of ingredient sources there. That's why Bayou is also a convenient location to be taken for your moonshine shack. Most people will agree that the third pick is a Heartland location. You would say because of its uh, middle position of the map it's the greatest position but actually it is not because there are plenty of hard deliveries with uh, many bumpy roads, uh, railways and also rivers to be crossed when you deliver your shine and actually locations appear to be far away from your shack. That's why I don't like uh, the location in Heartlands. Now we came to the part where I tell you where you should not set your moonshine shack. And of course, the answer is simple, you should not set your moonshine shack in uh, Grizzlies and Hannigan Steed. It is actually hard for me to say that you should not set your moonshine shack in Grizzlies because I really prefer this region of the map and in uh, RDO world there is no better looking place, at least in my opinion, but uh, deliveries from your moonshine shack from Grizzlies are so hard. You will have so many bumps on your road and so many hard turns and as a cherry on top you'll have a railroad almost as a must for deliveries from Grizzlies. So I really feel you should avoid this location. 
the distances to be traveled from your shack in Grizzlies are really long and actually time consuming so when you want to be efficient uh, time based efficient you cannot be if you set your shack to Grizzlies location but there is an even worse location than Grizzlies and its Hannigan Steed this location is by far the worst because of the distances you need to travel to sell your shine and also because of the roads, so many turns and so on. But uh, actually, I even don't like uh, the scenery there, so when you take everything into consideration, you should avoid Hennigan Steed. It might be tempting to set your shack there because you think there are not so many players around and uh, that's true but in all honesty most of people are not griefers and if you encounter griefers when you're delivering your shine you just leave your session and you will have your shine ready to be delivered again so don't be afraid of griefers set the, your location according to your preferences not uh, uh, from fear of griefers let's say like that Hopefully I've covered everything needed for you to decide where to set your shack and now we should skip to the part uh, where I tell you what you need to improve as fast as possible to get uh, the most of your moonshine business. This role actually didn't evolve at all since its introduction so all the things uh, needed uh, to improve your business in the beginning are the same in 2021. You need to improve your condensers uh, two times first to get average moonshine and then to get the strong one of course the best one two other things i would advise you to buy are bar expansion and band expansion many people online will say these two improvements are cosmetics only but actually they are not you have daily challenges for uh, moonshiners that are uh, revolving around your uh, bar and your band and these are the easiest uh, dailies in the game so you must uh, buy these expansions and get gold uh, just by doing these dailies. It's really a no-brainer for me, you definitely should buy these two expansions. And the last piece of advice for you about Moonshiner Roll and uh, creating Moonshine. There is only one shine always in demand when you create it. Berry Cobbler Moonshine. The easiest one because you need peaches, canned peaches and raspberries as I already mentioned. Two of these uh, you can buy in general store and raspberries are all around the map and uh, especially in the vicinity of tall trees and great plains. Now of course you can create other moonshines but I prefer this one because uh, you will always sell it. You will not wait for a buyer to appear on your uh, buyer's list. Now Berry Cobbler is not uh, the priciest one, there are a few special shines to be sold but you need uh, much more demanding items to create these moonshines. For example you have uh, Wild Creek Moonshine, Poison Poppy Moonshine and Spice Island Shine but you need antique alcohol or uh, flowers, special American flowers for these uh, shines and I don't think $20 are worth of your hustle there. Now of course you may create these shines when there is daily challenge uh, that says you need to create special uh, shine but uh, even this is questionable because there are many other daily challenges that can be done easier than this one and this is also a time consuming uh, daily because you need 48 minutes to create special shine so you should reconsider it if there are easier challenges in, in this daily cycle. And with this being said, I've really covered everything you need to know about Moonshiner Roll, even in 2021. Before the music starts, I will just uh, tell you one thing before all other cosmetics appear. If you want to buy Moonshiner's horse, do so. Norfolk Roadster is, in my opinion and according statistics, the best horse in the game. I am proud owner of one Norfolk Roadster and this horse really never let me down. Even when facing predators, he will not back you off as easily as other horses and of course he's not as brave as uh, Bretons, but uh, I'm really rarely backed off when I'm riding my Norfolk. And he is my main horse along my two tour commands, so I have plenty of hours riding uh, Norfolk around. And now I only have to thank you for your time and I hope I helped you and you liked this video. See you in the next one about Naturalist Roll. Bye bye!
นะ่ะ